my name is Luke Marr and this is Hotla Mode and today on Hotla Mode we are going to be talking about James Charles's best friends buy each other outfits featuring the Dolan twins and Emma Chamberlain. But before we get into the actual video, if you guys are looking for a channel that talks about fashion in the most fun, sassy, bitchy, analytical way, this is it so you can go down below, hit the subscribe button and turn on my post notifications. I mean, you're already here, so. And if you want to see more from me, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. Instagram is like very fashion industry based. Snapchat is a little bit more personal. And Twitter is where I just go off in the comments. Like, it's just, it's there. I love a sister subtweet, honestly. YouTubers and the fashion industry interests me a lot. I do think YouTubers are becoming a little bit more of the mainstream. I mean, you had Tana Mojo on the red carpet at the VMAs. James Charles was literally just shot for Vogue Australia. So I think slowly but surely YouTubers are starting to gain some traction in the fashion industry. And I want to make sure that all of our sisters from YouTube look good and fresh so that fashion people don't think that they are an absolute fucking hot mess. They are an absolute hot mess, but we're gonna work on trying to change that. I feel that a lot of brands like Gucci and Balenciaga and Louis Vuitton are gonna be mentioned, but like it's not gonna be any interesting purchases or any interesting looks or anything like that. It's just gonna be like clout purchases. And you know me, I hate the clout chasers. It's just not my vibe, not my gig. I'm not into it. I'm not here for anybody else being into it. If you're not making purchases from like actual interesting pieces that have been designed, I don't care. Like I don't. Like your black heels, buy them from a fucking sustainable brand or something like interesting. I don't know. But like don't spend $700 on a pair of like Saint Laurent shoes that look like every other pair of expensive designer shoes. Like just don't do that. That's stupid. Why would you like there's no originality. You go to designers for them to design something interesting, not for them to design pieces that look like everything else that everybody else is making. Am I right or am I wrong? Because I'm pretty positive I'm right. So, you know what? I'm just gonna put in my AirPods and I'm just gonna live my best life and watch this video and we'll see what happens. Hi, Hi sisters. sisters! James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I am joined with the Sister Squad. We're back, ladies. Oh, there's a name. We're gonna be picking out each other's outfits. Thank you. Here we go. Right, let's do it. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> a few weeks ago, here on my YouTube channel, me and my little brother, Sister oh. Ian, decided to be really good and fresh. New line out now, sisterdustapparel.com. Who are you? Like, the gay Jake Paul selling your fucking merch, like, putting it all out there and shit? Like, okay, I get it. Like, you gotta, you gotta do the merch. That's cool. That's great. But, like, again, I'm having a brilliant idea. Why don't you, like, hire a design student to actually, like, make really interesting merch? I feel like that could work out for everybody, yourself included. Like, you know, come on, think about it. Let's, you know, let that ruminate like a nice glass of red wine. To buy each other outfits because Ian struggles a little bit in the fashion department. He does not, you're just too- He does. You're just too- You're so judgmental. You just don't like yeah, it. You're so uh, honestly, James has just like one strict type of stuff that he likes. Okay, who knew the Dolan twins knew how to read? Like, reading sister James to Phil. I mean, I agree though, like from what I've seen of James, it's usually like a sweatshirt and short shorts and thigh highs. And the only other person I can think of that wears that is Ariana Grande. And that's the last person that anybody should ever aspire to dress like. So. Not true because Ian has really good pieces, but he just doesn't know, really know how to put them together. Okay, that's like me. That's the thing. But I don't have good pieces. Okay, I just still think like, you're way too picky, but. People talking about me. Really good friends. Um, we are gonna buy clothes for each other. Go okay, on. so they're buying clothes for each other. Got it. Picking outfits, title, cool. Everybody put a hand. Why does it just be who you're sitting next to? I'll get you. You get. Never mind. Wait, everybody put a hand in the fishbowl. James, can you put a hand in for me? Yes. I said hand. <laughs> you put hands in the fishbowl. Yeah, you you're going hands. first. You can't put two hands in. You're go I hate straight people. Like that. I outsmarted yeah, you, you okay, so you have great. to choose You me. need the help you wear the same red shorts and black shirt every single day. <gasps> Bitch. I mean, honestly, living in New York and like not really having any straight male friends to roast on the regular has kind of like saddened my life a bit. Like that was a really big part of like my high school experience was like roasting the shit out of straight boys. And so 
it's nice to see that that tradition is still carried on today. You didn't drop that. Oh, uh, so who am well, I picking for? Well, Emma said it, so I have to pick for I'm Emma. I'm confused on who is choosing who. Okay, so I had to literally write it down because I couldn't understand who was picking who and why. Like, so here's what's happening. So James has Ethan, Ethan has Emma, Emma has Grayson, and Grayson has James. You're welcome. Pictures, and we want to do a good job. So let's just like shop till we draw, but do it like wisely so hopefully nobody will want to return any of the items so the money won't matter. Who we left? Emma Chamberlain is me this whole video. Okay, so like the twins, I don't really think have like a particular style that you're like, oh, that's what they wear. And Emma Chamberlain literally wears like crop tops and cropped polos and shorts. Like that's her whole gig. And somebody else is gonna buy her a fucking crop top. Like that's just what's gonna happen. I already know, I'm psychic, call me Raven Simone. What should our budget be? How much do we wanna spend on each person? I think no budge. I feel like we should do no budget. So there's no budget. So I just want to say that means that I expect to be served a four course dinner of beautiful looks. Okay? No budget. Just remember, no budget. Don't buy the whole Balenciaga store. I already have all of it. You don't have the whole Balenciaga store. You have like a jacket, a hoodie, and the speed runners. Like, let's not get crazy now. One, two, three, sister shopping. shopping! I love this video! I'm just gonna like skip through a bunch of the different parts because like I'm not watching the whole thing here. This is not a live stream, okay? So I'm just gonna talk about like when they go wherever they go and like if they do like fashion stuff, I don't know. Like they might just all go to like Randy Melville and Abercrombie and Fitch. Not only am I confused with what articles of clothing to get, James, I just don't know what stores sell them. I mean, I know Balenciaga, but like that's it. Like isn't that all he wears? No, it's not. He wore it like three times. Please. Dramatic. Emma's kind of like me. She wears like the same thing every day, kind of. <laughs> T. Read her. He, he's shady. Ethan. He's a shady little bitch. Oh, these shorts are good. Oh my god, I would get these for myself. James just buys outfits for himself the whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this jacket's really good. I'm not shopping for myself. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, I'm in Bloomingdale's. They have so much stuff. I'm feeling kind of good about it. Wow, this is definitely the one. Like... I'm terrified of that shoe. Why was it so heavy? He wears a lot of short shorts. Sometimes he doesn't even look like he's wearing pants. So I think the pants are going to be the easiest because if worse comes to worse, I can just not get anything. Wearing shorts so short that you don't look like you're wearing pants is the look always. Whoa. This kind of looks like origami. That's an Issey Miyake bag, so you probably thought that was a form of origami. But you know what? At least you realized it was Japanese. I think she likes like the weird glasses with the with the wings on them, like the. Well, these are kind of these are kind of pointy, yeah. but I don't know if she likes the, the flat at the top. Okay, these are the pointiest ones I found so no. far. But I'm not sure about the color, but she does wear pink a lot. Okay, That's these are even pointier, but I'm starting to think that they might be too pointy. Are those Prada? They're so ugly, but still they're Prada, so like, I'm not mad at them. My voice sounds so whiny in this video, I can already tell people are gonna be like, oh my god, you're so whiny. And I'm gonna be like, get over it. This jacket is so cute. Look at this. Couldn't you see him wearing something like this? It's a Fila jacket. What, have you never seen a Fila jacket in your life? Oh, get out of here. So bad. <laughs> I really like Emma Chamberlain. Like, she's fun. Like, she's funny. Like, she's me. Just having a mental breakdown and alone. I'm an Aquarius. That's just what I do. We'll make her work. Oh, I see Calvin Klein. Even though Calvin Klein's kind of like overdone, but like they might have good jeans. Ugh. Calvin Klein is not overdone. You just don't know who Raph Simmons is. And if anybody doesn't know who Raph Simmons actually is, he is essentially the deity of menswear and has created every menswear trend that has happened in the past. I don't know, 15 years. Also, his Calvin Klein is not overdone. It's just the fact that the Kardashians are in the ad campaign and I'm pretty positive Raph Simmons wouldn't have chosen them. So you know what? We're not blaming Raph for that, okay? Yes. All right, I'm here. Oh, sound on wrong. Let's go. Put it on the counter. I knew it. I found him. The problem with sound wrong is it's like not even Eddie that does it anymore, and they've kept the vibe for like years after, so it's just kind of unoriginal. Gray sweat, dark gray, a hell of a gray, chalkboard gray. Is that what I sound like when I'm in public talking about fashion? Where I'm like, this is a neck waistline of a. Is that what I sound like on this channel? 
It's like, is that why you're all subscribed? Because I talk about shit like that and the fabric. What's wrong with all of you? This is your own fault. This amazing woman, and I found this beautiful sweater, right? And this is for me. This isn't even for like whatever. I'm obsessed with it. But now I need to actually shop for Grayson and see if I can find something for him. But like first, shop for me because I am the most important. See, I fucking love her. Like I'm not even her. I just really admire the fact that she's just a fucking weirdo. Okay, okay these jeans with a little mirror. It's kind of fun. I don't know. They're just like simple black jeans. I feel like this could work. I don't know. I'm gonna Uber to a Gucci on Rodeo because they have the fanny pack that he likes and wants, and so I'm really pumped for that. But I just looked on his Instagram and saw that he literally has the shoes that I bought him, but they're in high tops, and I just bought him the low top version, and I'm mad because I wanted to get him like shoes he doesn't have. So when I'm at Gucci, I might buy him shoes too. Uh, I don't know. And then maybe I'll finish it off with some face accessories. What does that mean? Like an earring, a septum piercing. You're gonna like spring it on him when you're wearing the outfits. Like, hey, got you a septum piercing. Good luck. I'm gonna go get an accessory for him now at a fancy place. You know that was all I'm fancy too. Is yeah. there Chanel here? He looks Chanel. Chanel. Okay. He's somewhat fashion literate. Maybe like a dark pant will look better with. You just call it a dark pant. It's a fucking black pair of jeans with a rip in them. That's not a dark pant. It's like that kind of blood orange. Blood orange, she's so pretentious. Shut up, it's red. Oh, I love being a fashion icon, literally, let's go. You are not a fashion icon. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, sister, but no. I think she chops here a lot. I think I just need that crop top. Oh, is that Brandy Melt? Got it. I think I'm just gonna get a black crop top. I called it, didn't I? And I'll watch it, because I'm a nice person. Okay, so we just sister shop for a real while. Okay, they're back. They're done shopping. Thank God. Okay, close your eyes. Oh, they're gonna give them one. Oh, I just want to see the outfits. Stuff so that I don't look boring all the time. Uh -huh. Yeah, you really do. Okay, so I this? wasn't looking at the one that he's not interesting. Let's move on. It's a Gucci box. I like that Gucci box. I will be very honest. I do get happy when I see it. But then I see what's inside and I'm always so disappointed. Sick. These are so dope. These are like units. Like I just bought things like this no, from Unit, but like these are like Gucci, so obviously these are way more dope. Oh yeah, I was like they're gonna be oh, flat. Flat pants. These are Am so I fun. Shocked? I literally like no, they're just dope. not at all. These nice things. Okay, they're you know how to put Hermes. 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 What? Wait, 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 A. Hermes. Like, Hermione? Like, I'm confused. No, that's not it. And I'm not even being like a bitchy pronunciation gay. I'm just like really low key disappointed. How do you, how do you say it? Hermes. Yeah, Hermes. He just came for her for saying it wrong and then he just said it wrong. I'm confused. You're not a fashion icon because you don't know how to say Hermes. And you know what, here's my thing. I am not the fashion pronunciation police because you know what, a bitch says Versace, a bitch says, I don't know, I say other things wrong that people call me out all the time for, like Jacques Mousse, like I made up that pronunciation. But my thing is, it's totally fine to be in like the general vicinity of the word and like how it's actually pronounced. And especially when it's like a brand that's not named after like Ralph Lauren or Tommy Hilfiger, like, that makes sense. I totally understand that. But like, if you're saying Saint Laurent, like no. If you're saying Givenchy, like no. If you're saying Hermes, like no. Like I'm not saying that I pronounce everything with a fucking French accent all the time because I don't. Like look at Hot Lamode. I mean, I know how to pronounce Haute Couture and like Lamode in fucking Italian, but it doesn't all, you know, come together in that way. So my thing is, don't go crazy about the pronunciations, but like just try to learn what they sound like. It's important because you just don't want to sound crazy when you're going to the, you know, register and you're like, can I get some land van in here, please? Like, no, we don't want that. We're learning. We're here to learn. We're here to educate. But nobody should be coming for anybody if they're saying Hermes just in a slightly different way. But James Charles, you are saying Hermes wrong and it's Hermes if you want to get all French and pronunciationable up in here, okay? Yeah. Oh my god, I Wait, love it! It's all out of frame, you have to yeah. show it. Oh, okay, it's a skate. Oh, I thought it was going to be like one of those big, gigantic, obnoxious ones. This is literally my favorite top because it's so soft. Oh, that's a crop top. Wow. Oh, this is 
my size? Yeah. No way! Of course. Woo! Point of story. Alright, so I, I'm not, I don't want to be like that guy that's like freaking out for Gucci, but like this so guy having, like, is very heart mid. palpitations yeah. or whatever, and I think it's like an underlying health issue, but weirdly it flared up as soon as I saw that Gucci fanny pack. Bracelet I was telling exactly. you. Exactly. Yes. I literally was going to buy him the bracelet too, but it was literally $2,000. I was like, okay, you really don't want to die right now? But so I was like, I'll get him. I'll get him. No, this is this. awesome. This is like, yes. thank yeah. you so much, Emma. Of course. Of course. Wow. That was so nice. Oh, okay. I thought it was like the GG one. Actually, it's the cute little horse one. I like that. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. Oh, what bag is it? Oh, this is good! Okay, oh, yes. that is, is that yeah, the good. Oh, it's and the Gucci Mara bag. And we get Sister Twin now. With we all have I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm scared. Okay. Oh my god, she has boobs. Please, please, please. I'm like sweating everywhere. Oh, no. <gasps> They're not even a heel. I thought they were a heel. I thought they'd be a heel. Oh, my God. Those are disgusting. Oh, he looks good. He's hot, though. There's no full... There's full look. Oh, I mean, like, she looks cute, but basic. It's fine. Um, it's a very James Charles outfit. Okay, so I feel like for me personally, Emma Chamberlain won. Not because it's some like revolutionary outfit or anything, but like, so that is pretty much the end of the video. I think Emma Chamberlain won. Um, yeah, here's my thing. I'm not like really like, oh my God, pressed about this. Like it's not something that I'm gonna go home and cry about. It's just, I would prefer if YouTubers like had a knowledge of the fashion industry and like fashion brands that they weren't like just going to like department stores and buying the basic shit that's there. Cause like I'm getting Nicolette Grey vibes and it's hurting my soul. And I am disappointed about them and I will stay disappointed about them. But I also am not opposed to helping the children learn about the brands they should be learning about. Or at least buying the pieces from the brands that they're, you know, buying from and like serving me a look. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited Fashion Month is happening and a lot of you guys are new and have never experienced Fashion Month before on this channel. So watch out. Again, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much and TTYL.